All right, so that seems to be what's going on here. Hey, bird. Sure, why not? That's the place where things are, I know. Center of operation, expect you'll be spending a lot of time there. Over here, and then nothing. Yeah, this is a TARDIS that leads to the portal zone. This is Seth's phone. Got it. Center station is a lift. Okay. And, uh, uh huh. Sounds great. What's over here, though? I mean, you don't need to take the lift, you can take the stairs. So we're on, yeah, we're on B1F. I can tell these things from the way that my face it. I want to talk to a clock bird. Okay, so stairs on either side. Makes a lot of sense. I can go back if I want to. Port side, that's a pretty good name. Got it. Yeah, Menutron, I want to see how I'm stand- Ooh, got emails? Uh, We've got emails! We can read Tam's emails! <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna tell them anything unless they specifically ask, don't worry. And I'm surprised- Oh, what? Uh-huh. Tempura anomaly? Instead of temporal? Oh, wait a second. Is that going to actually do a thing? Oh, I mean, uh, the LP will still be going on on these dates, I'm pretty sure. That's the elevator. Okay, it is very no frill. You just get in there, press up, press button. Sweet. Then you fall in the pit. Those are pits. Got it! Oh yeah, and it says, like, see, there's retcon exit. Whoops. So this is pretty smart. Yeah, like, you can just see right there on the wall what you can get, so... Oh, that is a sound effect. And that's a blackboard. If you're into that. So this is the warehouse. Lock door! This door is locked! Is that one to you don't have access at this time? And no one has locksmith skills yet. And over here is storage. I mean, I can kind of do this on my own. Oh, and here is storage for clothes. What are you doing here, Mishi? You're not, you're not. Hi, hey. Weren't you dead? <laughs> I'm taking this pretty good. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. And fair enough. Okay, so I cannot- I would- I need to change to the other characters to be able to put on their suits. Fair enough, hey Tig. Hey, sup, hey. Uh-huh. So, sounds like the sort of thing where we just kind of want to come back once in a while. Makes sense to me. Hello. Oh, you're hollow, probably. Okay. It's a delivery. Yeah, hello. This is the deliver the delivery zone, the developer zone, probably. Yeah, and it's gonna fill up as we play the game, as we hit milestones, probably. You know, everyone just hanging out in storage. What else are you gonna do in the space base on in between the cracks of space and time? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> okay. Did you make port side? I don't know. Well, uh, you know, this place. All right, this big window. Yeah, I'm taking the stairs this time. Here's the second floor. Tempura anomaly. Yeah, this is where I would have gone up. 
Uh huh. All right, let's go ahead and talk to you. Social hub. There's still a massive pit on the floor. All right. Card. Every day. Oh, I am. Uh... Okay, sure. I'm not doing FOMO stuff, right? I'm not gonna come back here every day. Okay. Alright, well, just gonna look around here. Card Emporium. What does that mean? Uh, so they're always out of stock or too expensive. Trendy shop, got it. Yeah, so those are the cards I have. I have two of them, myself and my sister's animal. Is that weird? I don't know. Oh, but we can use our coins here. Cardographer. I get it. Okay. Leaks tend to keep a faint imprint of space on them as they distort it. Uh, what? Wait, what? So I can take a look at my leeks. Check out all these vegetables I have in my pockets. That's right! Okay, so it's probably mathematical! Got it! So like special characters from that chapter are gonna be like unique peeps. Got it! Okay. And I don't have a little exclamato, so nothing special is gonna happen. Got it. I'm gonna buy these. The Drift! It's a common card. Sure. Drift is a character from my defunct webcomic. I didn't expect him to see him mentioned here. Same with Tear. Alright, look. I got all of these L coins that are, like, not doing anything. Of course. Whoa! 75! Yeah. Like, again. I'm gonna keep getting them. I keep finding, like, massive amounts in, in, in boxes. I guess that makes sense now. And either a space age needs to happen, or I need to go somewhere and look at a thing in a world. Alright. Okay, so the rest is the same. That is pretty great. Uh, and check it out, we got more! Nordal right here, art by Vemnark. Shady Goopa, leader of the infamous Goopanati. Might have heard of them. <laughs> yeah, then we get references to my comics, which I never expect. Friendly faces set. That's right. Okay, that is some really cool art, though. Just here. Oh, that is a really nice art of her, though. Oh, that looks super neat. There's Steve. Ooh, look at that. It's foil. That's why it's rare. Because of his space-time texture. <laughs> and his mysterious, like, bottled water there. Yeah, legendary collection. Mysterious merchant. Maybe there's a group? I don't know. No, I think... I, I would believe it if it's one person that exists in, the, like, several space at the same time. I feel you don't have space galaxy texture. If you're not a little bit time-space displaced. That is a very high-pitched sound. I get that reference, and I will eat- oh. 
Hamburger. Go away, hamburger, I guess. Goodbye, hamburger. It's the cafeteria. You can use money to... What's that? What power-up is that? Ace! That is super expensive. Well, yeah, it's a ca yeah, cafeteria. Sell food. Ah! Okay. So, if you buy that here, you can just get infinite moon. Infinite food for 45. But here I can get infinite for one, though, right? But what power-up is this? This Mountain Dew. I do not have the Rao coins to try. But yeah, like, if I get this, green radish. So if I say yes, enjoy my food. Oh, but see, I can't get it forever. I just got it here, but then I have to pay again. Repeat your thing again. Some of our stock is a special all-you-can-eat. But, uh, not all of it. Only some. Alright, that's fair. Okay. Alright. Oh, that sound effect, though, it's very high-pitched. Corn dogs! Just corn dogs! Uh. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm down with the corn dog life. GZ Pete's. Hey, I have it though. It is in my inventory. I do not have access to my inventory, but it is there. Alright, uh, tempura. I feel like... Alright, this is very similar to that one scene in, um... In the advent. That's what's looking similar to me. Oh, you can go here. Oh, this is a lot. Seeing a lot of familiar faces here, too. This is like the backside. Okay. Hey, you're from, uh... Aren't you not from, uh, our act? Or am I mixing you up with something else? <laughs> Will not talk. <laughs> Got it. These are not official characters. That is a very loud ellipses. Obviously. I love how it has a whole bunch of tape around it. What does that even mean? Oh! It's, uh, it's the, the, the peach crown, right? Well, I just started something. I have dessert. I have caused the, the the thing to be deserted. Oh boy, did I get a thing started without wanting to? Everything's on fire. I can travel the world, and yeah, that is burning. What is the matter? Can I leave? Okay, the lesson here, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Maybe whatever's supposed to happen there is just like not ready to happen yet. Man, there's a lot of people. Spirit of Magal. There's Gate. Got, yeah. I love the two types of Luigi there, too. Super sick. <laughs> I would rather not, honestly.
That's a pretty cool speech pattern, though. From, uh, Owlboy. And from Saldexas. In case you were confused. Hey, Boone. That sounds disgusting. Yeah, Boone doesn't really speak. No, he speaks a few times in the VIP sometimes. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh, wait, that is the pancake! I didn't know you had a body. Ha! <laughs> I love how it happened two times. There is no bird dimension in Wheel 22. Yeah, I don't think that, I I don't know that is that can't I I can't tell if that's a real one or not. A real one of my videos, I mean. So, so people from Paper Mario can just hop on here? <laughs> Alright. Give me context, Adam. You're a crab head. He does not speak to me. A hey, cream. I notice you're there, Pilly. I'm gonna end with you, though. Science! You're a waiter now! Uh, oh, Zay! Wow, yeah, no, I recognize you just like a uh, half second before um, the name popped up. You saw her in that one advent game, the game with like the fire and ice magic in it. Huh. <laughs> that is a lot of effort. <laughs> For... <laughs> like, really though. <laughs> hey, little guy. Hey, feed. Yes. <laughs> Got it. Cannot jump on head. Oh man, this was a lot of stuff going on. That's what I thought. So we can play all the music that exists in the game that we've met. Time stop jingle. Yeah, so I'm gonna guess that, you know, because of exclamation marks, it's gonna get filled up as we find things. Huh? I mean, this is some kind of government. It may not be the, but it is a. If you touch the crown, you can go to a weird burning zone. Have you considered that? Sounds great. I cannot go in that door back. So yeah, I don't know if going through the crown space will do anything. I went in and I didn't see anything happen. So I'm gonna guess that it's something for later. This is gonna be a long episode. There's just no way around it. Uh, where's this guy? Hey, buddy. Research floor. It's the door floor for research. Mm-hmm. Store records of all kind of things from time and space. That's pretty weird. I guess it wouldn't be. There's a greenhouse. See, it's nature, but split apart and set backwards so you don't notice immediately. Cronon blooms.
I mean, gonna be real, bird. Uh, this has been relatively straightforward. Uh, is there someone in the stair? Was that a box? No, that's you. What are you doing here? Hell yeah, 1.1! And yeah, so every time we finish a world, we're gonna be returning here, and I'm going to have to, like, go around. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Visual entities, events, and documents throughout time. Got it. That was us. So is this like, like the world? Oh. Oh, it's just by Pock House. Interesting. Oh, hey! This place. So now we get actual names for, oh, and all the individual levels were actually like different levels tied together. Alright, doesn't look like I've missed any... Uh, any leaks. Let's just go through this. I'm going to just go through this. I'm going to read at my speed. If you want to read, pause. I know it's not very uh, practical for a lot of people, but I think this is the best way to do this for the sake of the video. So this is a reference to ASMT, right? Yeah. I love how she is all, like, glitchy. <laughs> Rooms of even less than nothing significance. Yeah, Super Demo Sisters! <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, pretty much. See the part where it's all glitchy. So yeah, that's a that's a two x c the first. Yeah, this was there was a whole bit about that in uh, a two x d. I still a joy that one of them is wearing a piece of cheese on their head. Okay. I expect most of the TV screens to go like that. Okay, maybe not. Perpetual, huh? Now I wonder if these are gonna build up too over the game. 
That's where ASMBXD happened, by the way, for anyone who might not be aware. C-A-N-S-W, that was never called that way, I just said that here. This was a mistake. Hey! Hi! You sure do! You didn't disappear on me, hey, Kalioka. Hi, hi! Oh, you have actual voice sounds words! Uh. No peeking. I wanna peek. I'm peeking. I'm trying to peek, but nothing is happening. I guess I was kept from peeking. No peeking from me. Trading cards! So this is just yet another place- That makes sense, since this is an archive of all knowledge. Oh boy. All right. Yep. That is accurate. You know what? That's fair. If people this implies, okay, the implication of this, I've just realized is that there are gonna be levels that are gonna make references to my particular lexicon that I've developed throughout the years. And this, this whole room exists probably to give context to a lot of my sometimes odd word choice that has like permediated throughout the years. So this is a bit of like a little accessibility feature so that Words didn't have to be unmangled. I think this is what's happening. And also, like, hidden in, like, lore words from this game. Everything inside. The Amazon. Huh. That's funny. It's just like the in-game music. Music is diagenic, it turns out, but only for specific people. Ah! Thank you, Melody. That's being referred to here. That is from ASMT. Uh, Chateta just put that in a level. A word that I do not th believe is meant to mean anything. Really? So, wait, so anything that's by Nenyu is actually anonymous. Uh, that's good to know. Epoch data. Area, <laughs> region, play zone. ARPS! 
then yeah, and we beat the autumnal epoch, so we got the info on it here. Okay. I'm not sure if the planet could live in perpetual autumn. I mean, I guess it could work. It just seems weird to think about. Because autumn is like it's a transitionary period. Ooh, boy. Yeah, those! Uh, squishable berries. <laughs> Civilita Mind Control. Not squishable. Not, humans are squishable. Give Kuda gun. Chuck in a day. Oh, I love that weird little, like, tiny white one. Look how smug it looks. Not sentient, but highly intelligent. That's an interesting uh, split. What up with Pang? I mean, they're being absorbed into Kalioka's project. <laughs> yeah, okay. Clockatoo, those things. So they're the pigeons of space time. Got it. Probably not sentient. See, they're explaining why contact damage hurt, but you can jump on them. Extremely squishable. Oh, they're flying ones? One of them has wings there. Water mice. <laughs> Wizard is a species.
Man, Gen Jesus. Uh, that's a really big one. That's from, uh, what the hell, I think, originally. But it kind of gotten morphed over time. I still think the Drill Rose is such a good replacement for the Prana Plant. Family of Immortwee. recommended. Oh, I, okay, so I see you, re you replace Sumo Bro. I do not understand you. Carnivorous. I see. I see what you mean. They started off unsentient and then they gained sentience. Same as Derek. <laughs> Crustacea Rex is pretty good.
I love how you finally found an explanation for what this thing is. From all the way from ASMT. This is this guy! Lapis... Lapisomorpha. Oh, it's a bird! It's the... It's the Buster... Buster Beetle replacement, yes. Power Keat. I get it. It's parakeet with power. Uh, okay, so it looks to be a dolphin replacement. <laughs> You don't look like Richard. You look a lot more like Zangief in this game. Alright, you got all that because there will be a test. Also, we're not done somehow. Ugh. I think that this will have to be its own video for people who are interested in all this. I okay. That's that's fine. Jeez, that's a lot of stuff there. <laughs> I don't think she has Elias's at all. <laughs> 
almost a dog. Oh, he dislikes the penguins, huh? Interesting. Oh, that is a Magalex 3 reference. Okay. TXD gonna get end up in here somehow? That is not something I would have expected. Okay, that's interesting. That's Steve. Copeland. Oh, yeah, of course. Mike from Star Topping. I mean, I feel like that's just the fault of all things. I still don't get y'all. Uh, lost items never being recovered. Oh, 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 let me reread that. So it's when you lose things through a level filter. Oh, okay. It's that guy. Science fiction is his full name. That's funny.
Oh, so did you get all of that? Because there will be a test. Uh, I love how edible is a thing. Makes sense. Don't eat a teeth. Can help it. such a handy shape. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Sometimes called beats. It is very interchangeable which word is used. Why, how a carrot is standing up like that. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> So that's a star. Okay. Now I know. Okay, that's interesting. So she's the only thing. Oh, it's a chicken. I was looking at the individual ones. Uh, also, the taco has non-meat parts. It has a shell. Guaranteed, and it's gonna be worthless because everyone's gonna have one. Again, there will be a test. I forget, is there anything else? Oh my gosh, that's not even the last door. I gotta go in the greenhouse now. Oh boy. What is happening? I don't know what I'm gonna do video wise with all of this. I 
do. Store history. Does anyone that can experience the events they kept in there? Oh, um, they're cutscene viewers. Okay, so th you can use these to replay the intro. So you can go here to play the intro, and I guess okay. So okay, so these are to play the intro again. And I'm gonna guess that there's going to be more, maybe, levels that are otherwise, like, tucked inside another level. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. I get that. Wow, that was a lot! That was a lot of text! This was probably not designed to just being absorbed completely in one shot, but... I don't know how else it's supposed to go. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if this saved at any point. But, uh, yeah, this was a lot. I don't know how I'm gonna make this work, but I think I wanted to teleport to make sure that it saves me selecting all these options. So leave port if we do that. Okay, so on the panel back in the machine, it only suggested... Well, it suggested the existence of three, but it will only let me go to autumnal or glaciation. I want to go. I want to go to autumnal and see if I can spot, like, where the portal is. And there's just a portal right here. There we go. And then you can just go back. Rup. Or you can go to any other world. Oh, that's neat. All right, I am ensuring that a save happens. Okay. Now we have access to here. This is the skull. It's Noctol. Benenyun Rixi Chow, by the way. Yeah, if you want to go right to the thing. Okay. <laughs> Next time. Cold World Town's probably not a, gonna be that in- Like, I'm- I'm just- I'm assuming you're not meant to just hardline everything all at once. But I don't see how else you would do it, though. <laughs>